I'm a well-known Tesla skeptic. Somehow it's levitating and I think it's Elon Musk is the greatest salesman in the world. He paints this vision of an unlimited future uh, aided and abetted by some analysts who say, ah, I mean, it's just like, he, it's like Elon Musk has been beamed down from another planet <laughs> to show us mortals how to run a, how to run a company. The fact is, uh, it's a constant cash drain. They're highly dependent on federal government and state incentives for money, which constantly flows in. They have capital raises all the time. The even the high-end cars that they build now cost more to build than they're able to sell them for. Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, GM, Audi, and Porsche are all coming out with 300-mile electric luxury sedans. I think they're doomed. Our Fremont factory uh, in the past has actually made uh, almost 500,000 cars a year. Um, so we're confident that, we can, that Tesla can achieve that number in the future in terms of vehicle production. Uh, so I think, I think that's, that's going to be, um, I wouldn't say straightforward, but uh, very doable. And, and then what about, what about batteries? Um, because in order to produce half a million cars a year, uh, we would actually need to, this, the same battery production. We, we basically need to absorb the entire world's lithium ion production. That, that's why we are building the Gigafactory. So to, to give you a sense of scale, the Gigafactory will actually have the largest footprint of any building of any kind. Volumetrically, it will only be second to the Boeing factory in Washington. This is really quite an enormous facility. Um, it, 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 in fact, uh, it will it'll produce more lithium-ion batteries than all other factories in the world combined. Um, and it, it won't just be at that volume, but also be producing the most advanced cell and battery in the world. So it's the combination of high volume with the most advanced technology is what ena enables us to make the Model 3. And um, we already, it's, it's already operational today. So when, when are deliveries? Well, they're next year. And, uh, and then in terms of price, well, of course, it'll be $35,000. All right, let's bring them out. I think they're doomed. Um, this is this is kind of crazy, but I, I just learned, uh, just told that uh, the total number of orders for the Model Three in the past 24 hours has now passed 115,000. <laughs> Bring out the Model Y. It, it has the, the functionality of a of an SUV, but will, it will ride like a sports car. So th this thing will be really tight in corners, uh, and we expect it will be this, the, the safest uh, a mid-sized SUV in the world by far. And at Tesla, we actually uh, always design with safety as the number one goal. Welcome to the Tesla Semi Truck event. I hope you like what you see. It, it blows my mind. I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance, the Tesla. The Tesla Semi will go 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. That's by itself or with a trailer. Now at 80,000 pounds max gross vehicle weight, that's the most amount of weight you can carry on a US highway. This is the real time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. On the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving is a diesel truck. Even with 80,000 pounds pulling max gross, getting 60 miles an hour in 20 seconds. That's what it can do. Now, what about up a hill? Okay, the, the best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Tesla Semi can do 65 miles an hour up a 5% grade. That's 65 miles an hour continuous at max gross. What this means is that if, you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountainous terrain up a hill, you, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's a gigantic difference. Uh, now, one of the biggest questions we've been asked about 
uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So 500 mile range. But what does a 500 mile range mean? And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. But what it means is that since, because the vast majority of routes, because the vast majority are, are, are under 250 miles, it means that you can go to your destination and back, even if your destination has no charging. You can, you can go there and back, go there and home with, without recharging. So you could, you could deliver a load out from the middle of nowhere and come back. Now, how do we achieve this? One of the th ways we do this is we design the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. So whereas a normal diesel truck is designed more like a barn wall, this is a bullet. You can see this in the drag coefficient. By way of comparison, a, a Bugatti Chiron, which is a $2 million supercar, has a 0.38 drag coefficient. So this has got a better drag coefficient than a supercar. I think they're doomed. Tesla be in 10 years, you know? Uh, we will be driving a Tesla on Mars. I, I, think we could, I think we actually could. Tesla will be on Mars in 10 years. I think it will, I think it will. <laughs>